after an adjusting event, um, I, I, I have, I get a lot of different um, people coming up to me and they're like, oh my God, I didn't know you do this. How can I volunteer? Um, can I give you a check? I mean, all, all really great responses. When is your next event? Um, just a lot of uh, positive, excited responses. And, you know, this is what helps the organization grow. We take those feelings for us, you know, and even it helps the, the, it helps the nonprofit gain visibility, but then it helps us uh, grow a following so that what I envision is we take some of these groups and if it is local, we keep building on it. And the next one has a 600 folks and the next one has a thousand folks. We get people to the Justing events through various, um, various ways. Thanks to um, my experience with marketing, I use a lot of different platforms and know a lot of different people. And we do, you know, advertise it. And there's just, a, you know, between the marketing and, and the relationships and the sponsors that we have, we, we get, a, you know, it, the buzz out there and, and a lot of people are interested. And a lot of people love to give back. Um, so it's not too, too hard to get people to come for 45 minutes and feel like they've done something really good. Justing um, takes in a lot of different volunteers at, it, specific to the events, but we also are looking for volunteers for the long-term marketing plan that we have this year. Um, we also, uh, we do take sponsors. There's all different ways. I mean, the music piece, we look for choir directors. Um, we do have a choir director, but we need more choir directors as we move forward. We do have a website, um, www.justing.org. Um, we are on Facebook. Our Facebook page, um, justsing.org, is probably a little more active than our website. But you can connect um, with me through those, um, and Instagram, but through those website and Facebook. Um, we're always looking for volunteers, whether it's at an event um, or building our strategy this year, building the marketing program, um, even ideas. We're looking for nonprofits this year um, that really need help. This year, Justing is going to have an art opening. We have a, a, a featured artist who is, has the most amazing na nature for photography, and he wants to get his name out there. So what he's doing is ha we're going to have an art opening, and he's going to donate most of his sales to a child's nonprofit. We haven't picked which nonprofit that is, it's going to be, but our focus is always the youth, and we want a youth program. Um, that focuses on photography. We'd like a youth program that focused on photography. So we're going to have an art opening this year, um, which is really exciting. I've never had an art opening, but it, you know, if we can raise awareness and money for another nonprofit, why not? The other thing Justin is doing is I have um, a kickball tournament I do every year, which is kind of sounds a little off, but. Um, I always produce events, it's just in me, and this year we're going to raise money um, at the kickball tournament, the theme. We always have these elaborate themes and people dress up and we have this kickball tournament. This year the theme is focused on Elton John and we have a nonprofit that we did pick already and it's gonna raise money for children um, with AIDS. And so that is another um, event this year that we're going to have, it's not necessarily focusing about sing, but I really feel, and as I think about just sing, it's a brand that tells stories and whether we're singing, uh, creating artwork, um, having fun, we just want to sing and tell everybody's story, um, and help others. And so we have some things that are kind of branching out, not necessarily, um, are just singing events this year. So we're excited about that too.